Hello, hello. Welcome to Lekka Treats and thank you so much for being here. My name is Benedicta and in today's video, yes, you guessed right, we are in the fish market in Germany and we are trying to buy some seafood products to make delicious seafood okra stew. So the fish we'll be using today is sea bass. It has already been gutted and next to it, we have some calamari and some shrimps. Of course, you cannot make Make your seafood okra stew without some shrimps and next to that we have some crabs i have already worked on removing the parts that are not needed to be used and yes we are going to have a delicious meal out of all our seafood that we got so you can use any type of fish. I decided to use sea bass for this recipe however mackerel tastes so delicious with okra in addition to our seafood, we'll be needing pepper. I have over here habanero pepper, some ginger, garlic, onion, and yes, I am using my favorite stockfish. This is kako and also one seasoning cube. We'll also be using some palm oil and chopped tomatoes and to elevate the taste of our okra stew and enhance the flavor, you know, make it more nutritious. We'll also be using some spinach. I have over here some baby spinach, which I'm going to chop and include in our stew as it's about to get cooked. Next to the spinach, we have our okra. You can easily find okra to buy in any Turkish shop. If you live in Europe, you can find it in African stores as well. And, you know, basically in every Asian store, you can get okra to buy. So you can make this delicious meal. There is no excuse for you not living in Ghana and making your okra stew. So without taking much time, let's get started. So we'll begin by blending our ginger, onion, garlic, and habanero pepper, and we'll be using our blended ingredients to season our seafood. Over here, I'm placing my fish at the bottom. I'll be adding my crabs, my shrimps, and my calamari. I'm not going to let the crabs and the remaining calamari and shrimps get so cooked here. I just want it to be well seasoned here, and then I'll place it into my stew. So I'll be adding my stock cube and this is vegetable seasoning and i'll then add my blended ingredients you can decide to season your fish separately so that it doesn't fall apart and that was something that i should have actually done but i didn't want to end up using so many bowls <laughs> Please, if you want to have your fish in one piece, just try to season it separately in another bowl. You can add some salt to taste, but bear in mind that your stock cube is a little bit salty. So take that into consideration and try to mix everything gently. I started cooking our seafood on low heat so that it will take a time to be well seasoned with our blended ingredients. Next, we'll be chopping our baby spinach. Or if you have the larger ones available, it's fine to use. And if you love to use any other green leafy vegetable, please go ahead and use that. In Ghana, we love to use our cocoyam leaves, which we normally call kontumri. So after chopping my spinach, I'm going to chop my okra into larger pieces as I'm going to blend this. No time to waste. <laughs> So I'll be using my hand blender for this purpose. I'll add a little bit of water, not too much, and use the hand blender as it gives me, you know, it doesn't make it smooth. It gives me a little bit of chunks in there. After a quick check on our seafood, we'll begin with our stew. And we'll start off with our palm oil, heat it up on medium heat, and we'll be adding our stockfish. So we'll fry this for some time so that it releases its flavor into the oil. And then I'm going to add about three fourths of our chopped onions and leave the remaining one fourth to use later. So we'll saute this until it begins to caramelize and then we'll go in with our chopped tomatoes. Mm -hmm. 
So it's time to add our chopped tomatoes. We'll mix everything well together and allow it to cook for some time until the water in there reduces considerably. Once we are done blending our okra, we'll be pouring this into a pan and to this we'll be adding the remaining one fourth of our onions and this is going to give it a very nice fresh flavor. Add some salt to taste, mix everything well together and bring it to a boil. We are going to cook this on also low heat. You can decide to give, cook on medium heat if you have the time to keep an eye on it. Next, we'll be transferring our crabs, our shrimps, and our calamari into our tomato base stew. And yes, this is how our fish is looking. I didn't mix it that much. I'm trying to be super, super gentle so that it doesn't fall apart. And it's already looking good. At this time, I'm just going to keep it in for a couple of minutes so that it cooks well. You know, fish doesn't take too much time to cook. And yes, we are going to to turn off the heat and set our fish aside so that we bring it into our stew once our stew is completely cooked. Just look at how delicious our seafood okra stew is already looking. It's not completely done, but it's looking so good. You can just have this as a complete meal on its own. It looks super, super delicious. A quick check on our okra. It's boiling well. Try to mix it from time to time so that it doesn't get bent at the bottom. So I'll be adding some salt to taste to the tomato stew. Please try to be tasting your salt as you cook. And when you need more, definitely add. When you don't have to, you know, you, you'll be kept informed. Next, we'll be adding our stock from seasoning our seafood, mix everything well together and allow this to cook until it thickens up, our stew thickens up. Then we introduce our okra. Please keep an eye on your stew and try to mix it from time to time so that it doesn't get bent. Next, we'll be adding our baby spinach, mix it in and allow it to simmer for a while. And with a baby spinach or any other green leafy vegetable that you use, you can use as much as you want. It's super, super, super healthy and delicious. Finally, it's time for us to add our cooked okra. Just look at that goodness. It's already looking yummy. And at this time, you would have to lower the heat considerably so that the okra doesn't lose its elasticity. It doesn't lose how slimy it is. That is what we love about our okra stew. If you are a Ghanaian or an African for that matter, you want your okra stew to be slimy. And this is what is going to get you that so it's time to enjoy our okra and the perfect match for this is banku. If you don't have banku around, you can make some grease balls. You can also enjoy it with fufu. If your okra is runny enough, if you made it watery, then you can enjoy it with fufu as well. So look at that goodness. Everything is represented well in there. We have our crabs, we have our calamari, we have our shrimps, and of course, our fish thanks so much for watching and as always simple easy lekka see you in the next one bye